everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Plum Figgy. So today, uh, and my name is Tammy, uh, I have a collective haul for you today. I've uh, been doing a little bit of shopping over the last week and a half, two weeks or so. So first of all, I'm going to start off with Michael's. Um, picked up uh, another Iris uh, container storage thing. They were $3, um, I think recently and then got a couple of paper pads so I will flip through these really fast for you sorry about the noise <laughs> um, trying to keep it as little as possible here okay so got this one on clearance so this is a seven no this one's recollections this looks an awful lot like seven gypsies um, I have some plans still I know I mentioned it a while back, um, but I haven't gotten to them yet. I've been so busy. But I have plans to do uh, some nautical junk journals, and this one just screamed to me. I was like, yeah, I need to have this right now. <laughs> so here is what they are. The pages are, um, they're not double-sided, so uh, just single-sided, and... Um, really fun patterns. Um, so yeah, this will, and it's really thick. I don't know if you can hear how thick that is, but it'll go uh, really well. I think um, with the other paper that I have uh, from Authentique, and I found a really cool uh, binder that'll uh, work really well for this too. So. Um, yeah, so I'm kind of excited to put this one together. Hopefully in the next couple weeks I can get working on that. If not, this weekend. We'll see how far I get. So here's some corrugated cardboard. Honestly, I don't know if I would use this, but we'll see. I get creative sometimes. Some red burlap. And here is just some canvas. It's like a natural canvas. And that's the end. So, and actually, this back page could be used as well. Oh, sorry, this this last page is just uh, kind of a manila uh, ivory color. So that's that, and that was um, three forty nine on clearance. And then I did get uh, two paper pads from the Hot Buy five dollar paper pad sale. So this one is Santa Fe Garden. And uh, I don't typically do this style, but you know, oh, I forgot to take, I forgot to do this. I'm sorry. I usually do this beforehand. I'm just trying to rush here. Um, this isn't a style I typically go for as much. I'm not as much into the tropical uh, Santa Fe style. Uh, but I picked up some really cute cactus stuff that I, I wanted to try and incorporate into a junk journal. And I thought that um, this paper would go really well with that. So here we go. So it's very watercolor. Uh, the back is white. And let's see, it looks like you get two of each design. So that's the blue some cactus. Will probably end up turning out to be a really fun, uh, a really fun journal. Whoa, what happened to my color there with the video? <laughs> Sorry about that. So, cut apart page. It's really pretty. See, this isn't as much fun for me. I mean, it's pretty, it's just not my style. But this, I love this. <laughs> so, so there's that. And then I think there's actually a lot of, like this particular page, this could be used in anything. So there's a lot of stuff like that too. This is odd. Why? <laughs> this is kitchen. What? This, this doesn't make sense to me. Oh, okay. So then we've got some summer. Looks like I need to get working on that cactus thing, huh? <laughs> some gold foil. I don't know if you can really see the design there. This is really pretty. It's the same, only it's kind of a lime green almost. Border. P. 
pink. I don't know if you can really see that, but there's little tiny cactuses in there. Cacti, I suppose is the right way to say it. <laughs> Another cut apart page. Rain brings blossoms. Really pretty colors. This one's really pretty. It's another cut apart. Sorry, you can probably hear my, this is my, my snack. <laughs> you can probably hear that in the background. Sorry about that. I'll move that over. So, all right. So that was the last page. So, uh, I'm going to hopefully try and work on a, a journal with that. And then this is the other one that I got. This is very much my style. And this one stood out to me because it's, it looks like the pages are just a little bit different from typical scrapbook pads. So I'm, this obviously is the first time I'm really seeing the full thing. So I'm going to discover it with you all. <laughs> Again, we got white on the back, so not double sided and two of each. So this says, Explore the unseen, embrace the detours, let's wander, live on the bright side of life. Oh, I didn't tell you what this one's called. So this one is called Peaceful Breeze, um, and it's by Craft Smart, probably. Um, no, this one's Recollections. So, looks like it's kind of a wander, happy words, happy life. Um, maybe almost a little bit bohemian thinking, and then birds. <laughs> so, yeah, I think it's just a little fun and kooky, um, but really pretty. I love the colors. Love this one. This is really pretty. So I'm really excited about this one. I may, if they have another sale, I may go back and get another one of these. Yeah, this is really pretty. And you could use this in a Christmas album even. If you were doing like a blues and silvers. This is, yeah. Some leaves and things. Really color, really pretty colors. Silver foil. Grays, pinks. Kind of a shabby chic look to it. Oh yeah, that's really pretty. Really gorgeous. Cut apart page. I don't know if you can really see the yeah, the silver foil. Spread a little happiness. This would be a fun one to do. It's kinda like wood, but not not really. Not a hundred percent. This is the one I was the most curious about. So this is this is a um, a scene, and it's um, kind of like you ripped paper or something to create the scene. So that'll make a really fun journal page. Another cut apart page. Be where you want to be. Love just the journaling. Wander through the wildflowers. Never stop dreaming. Explore the world. Make a note. This is perfect because you can cut it right there. You get two pages out of that. Yeah, really cute. I like this um, silver foil idea. I'm more of a silver kind of person than gold. I've always been that way. Okay, give me one second. I'm going to reset and get the next um, thing out. Okay, last store was Hobby Lobby and the Hobby Lobby clearance. So I found some pretty dang good deals. Um, I'll start with this, just a roll of duct tape for $1.24. Uh, it's always good to have duct tape on hand. I don't, you know, I don't have a specific use for it, but when you can find it for $1.25, and it's kind of a cute pattern. So yeah, there's that. I'm sorry. I took the uh, tag off of this already. I think it was a dollar twenty-five also, but this was back in the sewing clearance area, and um, I don't have a specific 
um, use for this yet either, but you know what? It's going to be awfully fun to have fun with and figure out what I want to do with it. I mean, obviously, closures on journals it would be perfect for. Um, I'm thinking maybe a fabric flower. I've never done one before, but how pretty to use something like this for that. So, really cool. Pick that up. Um, got this Petals and Bloom. Uh, actually, I got two of these. This one's not the open one, but it's those three designs, uh, and they're just labels. So that's what they kind of look like. Really pretty. And they're just fun to stick into your journals and things. Um, picked up this set of six Pitt Artist Pens by Faber-Castell. Uh, this is the Shades of Grey um, pens. And yeah, so I use these once in a while. I do dabble in art journaling and stuff. I'm not anywhere close to as good as a lot of these wonderful artists on um, on YouTube, but you know, I try. <laughs> so uh, here we have uh, some Faber-Castell metallic uh, pencils, color pencils. Um, you know, I do have really nice sets of colored pencils that I don't use as often as I should, and there were other sets there that I could have picked up, but to be honest with you, I wouldn't have just been wasting my money because I already have really nice pencils and but these were interesting uh, and for a dollar seventy four I thought hey I'll try them out um, they could be really fun to try so they're really pretty uh, so there's that uh, found this and I haven't seen anyone else haul this um, this is the Sergeant Art liquid metals uh, tempera paints Another one that I don't typically use, but it was a dollar fifty. So I thought, well, hey, I'll try it. I'll see what happens. It's got some really cool colors. I don't know, here, let me just take this off. Let's just open this bad boy up and show you guys what we got going on here. I don't know if that can let you see what it is a little bit easier and not here. Oh, there we go. Take that off. I don't need that anyway. So here are the colors. So that looks like a bronze and copper, silver, gold, another copper, a lighter color of copper, and maybe an antique bronze. So yeah, so that'll be fun. And it looks like this one spilled a little bit so you can kind of see what it might look like. It's got a little bit of a shimmer to it, it looks like. So, so that'll be fun to play with. Throw that away. I only saw one of these. I went to two different Hobby Lobbies and only found one. This is a package of tracing paper and it was 99 cents, down from $3.99. Um, it's by Royal and Lang Nickel. So I actually have uh, at least one or two more of these that are unopened in my stash, which is unorganized at the moment, so <laughs> it's probably why I've been doing a little shopping, because I don't realize what I have, you know. Crafty girl issues, right? Okay, and here's one more that I haven't seen anyone else hauling, and um, yeah, I feel like I kind of hit the mother load on this one. So this is the Liquitex Basics Acrylic Color Set. It's 24 colors, and it was $9.50 down from $37.99. Um, I obviously haven't opened it up yet, but here are the colors. Shall we open it and see what it looks like? I think so. Because I'm curious, and I've been holding on to it for the last few days. And yeah, let's just enjoy the pretties all together. All right, let's get into this here. I'm trying to be careful so I don't wreck the box. Another thing I don't do as much is there's so many other wonderful artists out there that 
would take this and make beautiful things from it. You know, I'm a beginner. I'm not, I'm not a professional in any way, shape, or form. I dabble and I have fun. But that's the most important part, right? Oh, you guys, look at this. It's so pretty. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Pretty things. I like it. Um, so, yep, they're a uh, little 22 milliliter um, packages, little tubes. And this one happens to be cobalt blue. I don't know if it's sealed, so I don't, yeah, it's not sealed. So I don't want to get it everywhere, but... Oh, it's so pretty. I want to, I want to play. <laughs> so, okay. So that was my Hobby Lobby Michaels and Tuesday morning haul from the last couple weeks. Hopefully you guys can get out there. Go look for this. Uh, there was two of them left and they weren't exactly displayed. I mean, they were, all of this stuff was in the art aisle. It was not in the clearance area. The only stuff that was in the clearance area that I found was this, actually. This is the only thing that was in the clearance area. So, everything else was sitting where it normally would sit in the art aisle. So, uh, when, you're, when you're going to Hobby Lobby this weekend, tomorrow, tonight, go look and see if they have these on sale, too, because... Yeah, if they do, pick this, pick this up. This is a good deal. So, all right. Hope you all have a wonderful weekend. And if um, I don't get on here before, I hope you have a very safe, fun, and happy 4th of July holiday next week. All right. Bye, everybody. Okay, here we are. We're back with, um, we're going to do Tuesday morning now. So, I'll start off with some paper clips. This is a repurchase. Uh, just some um, heart paper clips and this one is a new one to me these are humongous and they're really fun <laughs> so here's the number $1.69 for that so yeah those will be fun to play with another repurchase anytime I see this I pick it up um, I didn't buy everything because actually I already have quite a few packages but you never know you never know when it's gonna run out so this one is half inch and that's the only size that I think they had there this time when I went. Here we have some DIY shop, uh, just some rings. And there's a number for that. Um, I'm going to try doing a couple journals using this and see how I like it. Um, just something a little bit different, you know. And I don't typically buy napkins, but these really stood out to me. They're gorgeous. Oh, and there's two different um, designs, so that's awesome. And yeah, looks like it should be this direction, but I guess you could put it probably just about any direction and it'll look okay. Um, but yeah, so <laughs> here is the number, and those were $229. Um, all right, and this I don't typically buy either because. To be honest with you, I have so much jewelry making stuff. Um, I am also a jewelry maker, and I don't think I'll ever get through all of my stash in my entire lifetime, because that's how much I have. <laughs> but on a, on a rare occasion, I do pick them up. So I think I might make a necklace out of these two. Um, I think that would be really pretty. Or I might just make a necklace. A bracelet out of this and use this as a, a charm on a necklace but this is not black I don't know if you can really see uh, the color too well there we go so you can kind of see my fan going there um, it's kind of a purple cobalt blue so yeah that really stood out to me and it was 20 or 25 percent off ended up being 319 um, but there's the uh, number in the price and then this one was also on sale and there's the number in the price there we go so 319 for this and this is yeah elastic but I'm gonna take all that off anyway my wrists are a little bit big for this size so I typically have to resize them anyway it is what it is one of those things. And then here's another thing I don't typically buy from the dollar, or sorry, the dollar tree from Tuesday morning, uh, just because it's a little more expensive than I would want to pay. 
but this one caught my eye a couple weeks back just because of this gorgeous Im imagery in this book. Look at this. It's just beautiful. And when I saw it, my imagination was just firing and popping and I got all kinds of ideas and yeah, it's just, um, it's really, it's a really special book. So, um, it'll be fun to read, first of all, because how many times have we all heard and read the uh, story of The Secret Garden and it's just one of my all-time favorites. But this imagery at the same time is just, it's gorgeous. So, I think I'm going to do something with this. This one... I'm going to have to sit on and think of for a little while, but I think, I think I'll come up with something good for this one. So, quickly run through. I mean, if nothing else, look at this paper. It's just beautiful. So, yeah. Really fun. So there's that. And the price on this one also was on sale, and that's another reason why I picked it up. So this was 25% off, 20 or 25%, I don't remember, but it ended up costing $4. So that's the number on that. All right, uh, one more store, and I will put you on hold one more time.